So we told you that Mayor Dan Clodfelter is going to be attending that prayer breakfast in Charlotte, and that's where Wilson's World is this morning. Yep, getting ready for it. Uh, what they're kicking off here in uh, just a few minutes, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit later on this morning, they have a lot of people out in the lobby getting in. We moved it inside and uh, wanted to talk to this young lady right here. Karen is uh, here with us with the uh, McCrory Family YMCA. Yeah. Um, this, this is such a great thing, but specifically for the programs they've got going on up there, we honor that memory, but today really benefits some of those kids up there. Today does. Um, this is such a great event. Again, we get to lift up Dr. Martin Luther King as well as raise some money to help children within the Northwest Corridor participate in programs and services at the McCrory. YMCA. And this is the 21st year that this has gone on. I'm, I'm trying to think, and I worked for the Y. You guys know this way, way back in my skinny <laughs> days. And I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing it out. I'm a Y guy. I love what the Y does. I love everything. But this is this is this is a special event for the YMCA, Cheryl. This is a special event. You know, um, the Y really promotes diversity, inclusion, and equality, and that's one of the things that Dr. King stood for. Yeah, which is perfect, and helping out the kids, making sure everybody can participate in all that kind of great stuff. Uh, so we're going to get this filled up here in just a little bit. Uh, we're hoping uh, we're going to be talking with uh, Benjamin Jealous, former head of the NAACP. He's going to be coming in. One of his things that he speaks about, we're going to ask him about, is that one thing you can do in your community. Uh, it always strikes me the why they do a lot of those one things. There's never the why is always doing something to help people. Absolutely. Um, you know, we're here to serve all. It's part of our mission. And um, we do that inside of the four walls of our facilities as yeah. well as out in the community. I love this. It smells good in here, too, doesn't it? I was, <laughs> I was trying to be serious now there, having people come in and all the other TV stations are here. But it this is going to be a good breakfast this morning. Yes, absolutely. We are very excited. Um, it's really a highlight of January yeah. to really kick it off celebrating Dr. King. Great stuff. Great stage over here. They've got kids participating, entertainment, all kinds of great stuff. And, uh, and you can see this is what it's all about right here, helping these kids out, improving health and well-being, educational programs. Big, big fan of the YMCA of Charlotte. We're going to have more. We're hoping, guys, when we come back with you, uh, we're going to have uh, Benjamin Jealous with us right here. We're at the Convention Center, Uptown Charlotte. Karen, thanks for everything you're Thank doing. You. Over the years, Wilson, I know you've seen this grow and grow and grow, and we have a very big speaker this morning. Are we talking to Ben Jealous right now? Yes, we sure are. Good morning, everybody. We are here at the uh, Charlotte Convention Center, the 21st annual YMCA Charlotte uh, Martin Luther King Day Prayer Breakfast. Uh, Benjamin Jealous is here with us. First of all, th thanks for coming. I know you're just getting going this morning. <laughs> uh, great crowd uh, for an event great like this. It is a great day for an event like this. It's raising money for so many kids. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on. I've been told that one of the things you speak about is what one thing you can do in your community. I, tell me about that. So, look, you know, we can all make a big change. And in fact, when we're on our deathbed, it's one of the things that, that we will be thinking about. Did I make this world better for somebody else, for my own children, for my grandchildren? In order to do that, though, you've got to get clear on what you want to change. And so I challenge folks to really just make that list and then zero in. And if you can't figure out what, what that one perfect thing to change is, then just close your eyes, draw a circle, whatever is most in that circle, do that. Because you cannot let the perfect get in the way of the good when it comes to actually getting things done. A lot of times I find when we're out doing the show, a lot of people try big, big things and all that. That one thing could just be something on your street. No, that's right. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't have to be for the whole country. Yeah. It could just be for you know, the, the, the smallest definition of your own community. Yeah. But it's got to be something that serves other people because service is the rent we pay for our space here on earth. What do you love most about speaking on, especially today, but just the groups like this? Yeah, well, yeah. This day is key because this is a time when the whole country comes together and asks ourselves, how can we do better? How can we get closer to being that one nation that our children put their hands over their heart and say this is every day, but we know it really ain't quite yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great stuff this morning. Uh, we're going to be talking with you a little bit later on in the show as well. Uh, thanks for coming. Great stuff. And for, the, for everybody coming in, uh, what can they expect to hear from you this morning? You know, folks can expect uh, to, to be challenged, yeah. hopefully inspired, yeah. but mostly reminded what this day is actually about in the first place. Yeah, no, that's a great message. Hey, we're here with the YMCA of Charlotte, the 21st annual MLK Day Prayer Breakfast. Uh, uh, Benjamin Jealous has been nice enough to be with us here one more time. Uh, I got to ask you here, the prayer breakfast is going on behind us and all this stuff. Uh, the president speaking tomorrow night, the big State of the Union. What right. would you like to hear him say? Look, I think it's critical that he plans to talk about the need for us to make sure that college is affordable mm -hmm. and accessible to everyone in this country. And also that we need some tax fairness. Yeah. That it is time for the taxes on, on most of us to get less, even if on the very wealthy they get more. I mean, if you look right now on this King Day, you think about the way the world was when he died and the way it is now, a lot of things have got better. 
but not everything. Right. You know, the blacks in the uh, top layer of the m middle class in this country, that has quadrupled since King died. Yeah. Blacks in poverty have stayed exactly the same percentage of the overall population. And that is mirrored in every community in our country. The haves have a lot more. The rest of us have a lot less. And what you'll hear the president talk about tomorrow night is how we start getting those two halves to come a bit closer together. So it's more of a gap and not a cavern. Uh, the, the, w w with the college program that we've heard the president's going to be talking about, he's got a little bit of pushback on, on that program. How important is that? And is that something that you think it, he's going to be able to make happen? It is critical that kids actually be able to, 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 to get college started yeah. and, and to say, look, I want to make sure that every child who wants to go to grades 13 and 14, if you will, yeah. to, to start yeah. with their community college, yeah. can do it and won't have to worry about being saddled with debt. That's something that, that we should all sign up for. Uh, and you've been on that national stage as the, the former leader of the NAACP, yeah. and you've had a lot of success. The president's on that national stage in a whole different way with, with, with a lot of challenges there. Yeah. For you, when you had challenges similar to what maybe the president's facing here with some of the politics, and I don't even want to get into all that, how did you get through some of those challenges? You know, I think there's kind of two things. One of them, you know, is to not shy away from contra from controversy when there's a need to be controversial. Right. But the other is to is is to look at that person who's on the other side of the aisle or the other side of that, uh, you know, in our society and say, what's the one thing that we can actually agree on? Yeah. And then focus on actually getting that done. And right now, if you look at Democrats and Republicans, one thing that a whole lot of us can actually agree on is we have too many people in prison in this country mm -hmm. where the world's leading incarcerator is bankrupting our states. Yeah. And my hope is that just as we've seen in Georgia and Texas where the Democrats and Republicans have gotten together and, and actually shrank the size of the prison system, that we'll see Boehner and Obama finally do the same thing for our country. There's a lot of people that feel like the divide, the political divide between the D's and the R's are wider than it's ever been. Sure. I, what would you say to somebody to try and bridge that gap? Well, look, you know, we actually have to take responsibility ourselves. When you look at the redistricting process, too many of us have signed up yeah. to create these ultra-partisan districts that actually don't represent our community. Yeah. And we've got to actually take control of the process. We stop feeling like the process has control of us. Great stuff this morning. I know you got to go speak. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Great speaker here. Uh, and, and just thanks for what you're doing to help out the YMCA. I've been to that Macquarie YMCA, and you being here is really going to help them out. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you can see people kind of filing in, the breakfast getting going, and people going and getting coffee and all that. Grab this guy, Riley Fields, a good friend with the Carolina Panthers. Uh, first of all, last night, that football, man, I wish we were in it, but that was crazy. Crazy ending. Um, you know, it's been a, a wild season for the team, yeah. and it just seems like seeing a wild game that happened uh, between uh, Seattle and the Packers yeah. last night just kind of follows suit with uh, the way the, the wild season has gone. It's been a wild season. Uh, a, a lot of good going on here today. Yes. And, and you're out there, and you were out there with us with the USO in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you for that because you brought your volunteers and people and surf and everything. And that was just day. awesome. You guys really made that great. Thomas Davis, talk to me about that. He's up for a big honor. Yeah, we are so uh, thrilled that. Um, Thomas Davis, uh, the NFL has just announced that he is one of the three finalists for the NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year yeah. Award, which recognizes uh, players for excellence on the field, in the locker room, and in their community. And this is the second year in a row that Thomas has been a national finalist. So uh, we'll find out if he is the, the recipient um, uh, Saturday night before yeah. the Super Bowl. Okay. And, it, and it's really just a testament to the ongoing commitment that Thomas has in serving his community and he's done so for years yeah. in a quiet way yeah. and he really makes meaningful impacts and it feel it's so gratifying to see him recognized for the good work that he does. And that Walter Payton, I mean that is one of the most highly coveted it is. awards yeah. in the whole league. The the NFL really places a premium on it and it's uh it's a really an impressive roster of players that have been recognized over the year years and um, just having Thomas being that final group really yeah. means a great deal to us. Uh, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Who are you going for? I got to think that uh, Seattle just seems to have some sort of crazy mojo yeah, going on and uh, I got to go NFC. There you you know, go. I'm, I'm with NFC you right guy. there on that one. Hey, we're at the YMCA Prayer Breakfast. Thanks for joining us. We got more coming up here in just a bit. We're hoping to grab Mayor Claude Felter. Stay tuned. Here it is. 
The big finale, the big speaker. Well, we, we just had Mr. Jealous on the show right here. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mayor's back here with us, Mr. Dan Clawfelter. The breakfast going on here behind us. What a great day today. It's a wonderful day. It's been a great weekend. We've had a series of community events all over town starting last Thursday and carrying all through the weekend. So it's been a great, uh, uplifting uh, weekend. Now, listen, and, and, and you're, I worked at the Y here in Charlotte many, many years ago back in the skinny days. So I just want to throw that out there. I am such a huge fan of this day. 21 years they've been doing this. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been great to see the tradition. Continue and and not only continue but grow. And uh, we've got other events now that have been added to the prayer breakfast. And uh, uh, there's a great community outpouring. It is a little bit different this year because there has been a, everybody's kind of coordinating all the events all together. They're trying to do that. Uh, there's a, uh, a committee that sort of manages all the events, and they've done a really nice job of getting uh, the parade on Saturday, yeah. having a community service uh, last night, uh, the interfaith service, and then today the prayer breakfast. Uh, we're going to be speaking here. We had uh, Benjamin Jealous on a little while ago, who is going to be speaking tonight, former head of the NAACP. He was talking about the uh, the college program. We're hoping to hear the, uh, the he was talking about hoping to hear the president speak about that. How important do you think that is to our community? I, I think that's really critical because uh, if uh, if we can't provide the means for people to get ahead, uh, then they're going to just be stuck in a in a in, a, in an eddy and they're not going to go anywhere. And, it's really critical. And it's right critical. here, I don't think people realize just how much CPCC has going on. It, it really does. It's uh, clearly the largest uh, in the in the state, and they're constantly innovating in new programs that are bringing yeah. uh, new jobs to the community. So it's great. Uh, great stuff going on. I don't want to Good hold stuff. you up. I know you got some breakfast stuff and all that going, but uh, you're picking the Super Bowl, Mr. Mayor. I know you had a little wager uh, going on. I know. Yeah. It's, I we was watching it live. I was like, oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, I picked the right team. It's just uh, we'll have to uh, wait for another year. <laughs> we will have to wait for another year. I but the right th but team, this huh? Super Bowl, are, are you the kind of guy that's going to root for the Seahawks oh, just because oh, they beat us? The Seahawks. Hmm. Well, I'm not, a, I'm not a sore loser, so I, I think it's going to be the Seahawks. You do? Okay, uh, well, there I'm you go. Sore loser. You heard it right here from Mr. Yeah. Mayor. Good stuff. I know you got a lot of Great. people who want to talk to you and everything. Thanks for what you're doing. And just thanks for being here. And, Good to and be with you. It's nice that you're here, kind of just the theme of just bringing people Support. together. I know that it's, you get that. Uh, it's really important. Good stuff. It's Great. Mr. Mayor, thank you. That's okay. Wilson's roll. Back to you guys. You bet.